So I've said one onion in the ingredient list, you'll see fairly small, right? So that is about one average size on the larger sized onion. Chop this up and we're going to add that into a big soup pot. So once you've chopped up your onion and you've put it into the soup pot, what we're going to do is measure out three tablespoons of your vegetable oil and three tablespoons of your red Thai curry paste into the pot as well. So when you've got your vegetable oil, your red Thai curry paste and your onions in the pot, put the hob on medium heat and just start the onions softening. So we just want to combine it all and start to soften the onions. Once the onion is softening, what we're going to do is cut the ends off, peel and then grate your carrots. It's quite involved, but to get the consistency I like, grating is essential for me. If you want to blend your soup up totally smooth, you could probably just ch chop it into chunks. Once your onions have softened, I'm going to put in my teaspoon of garlic puree. You can also finely chop up your garlic cloves if you want to use fresh and fry that off for a wee minute or two. So once you've got your garlic in with your onions and your red thai and your vegetable oil, what we're going to do is add the next stage before putting it on to simmer. So I want you to add your grated carrot your two stock pots dissolved in your litre of water and your tin of coconut milk. That's just me, I added the last little bit of the grated carrot. So what we're going to do is leave that on a medium heat to simmer for about 40, 45 minutes and then we'll come back to it. That's been 40 minutes, I've switched the heat off. And your soup should look like that. I'm going to get a hand blender and blend up the soup. And I'm not going to do it totally smooth just because I like there being some texture with this soup, but you can do it to your desired consistency. So either hand blender or use a, a, a full, you know, stand stand blender um, if you want it totally smooth. And just because it's easier for the hand blender to do the work, I'm going to put in my handful of coriander when I blend up the soup as well. And then all you've got left to do is add in your tablespoon of your sugar, your tablespoon of your lime juice, and a tablespoon of your fish sauce. Give that a stir and serve.